Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to do makeup for your 3D character. So let's get started. First of all we need to open our character. So here is my character's head. For skin base I suggest you to use 3D scan. Ok, let's start with eyebrows. I will create new fill layer. I will turn off all these material types um, and in base color I will choose something like dark brown like this. Uh, let's create black mask. So for the perfect eyebrow we will be using uh, this image. As you can see here is the three main lines. Let's place them. So the first will be um, like here. The second point will be here. And the last one. Yeah, like that. So I prefer to paint eyebrows in Photoshop. In Substance Painter I just arrange the points and connect them. Let's export this map and paint eyebrows in Photoshop. So here it is. We can choose our brush. Let's make size um, 3 and hardness doesn't matter. I will be using my bamboo tablet. Let's create new layer. Let's choose our, our color. We can paint it with a pure black because we can change the opacity later. I prefer to start with the beginning of eyebrow and just do this. It will take some time, so I will speed up the video. It's important to keep the start of your eyebrow lighter than the end. Let's remove black lines from this side. I'm using this um, spot healing brush tool. Yep, like this. And we can continue to paint our eyebrow. Ok, I think we can mirror this eyebrow. Let's duplicate the layer. Edit. Transform. Flip horizontal. And now let's move it to the other side. Like this. Let's remove lines. And now let's test it in Substance Painter. So here it is, how it looks in Substance Painter. Let's continue with eyes. Then we will see if we need changes in eyebrows. Let's create new fill layer and choose dark brown color. Okay. 
add black mask and with simple brush we just need to darken the edge of our eye like this add filter blur blur oops that's bevel blur do like this so now I prefer to duplicate this layer a couple of times like this to get this cat eye effect let's create new fill layer and add some white we will change the opacity later so let's add white here little bit on the nose like that now let's add filter blur blur it like like that and let's change the opacity a little bit like this should be good so let's create another uh, fill layer and choose again dark brown it can be messy it doesn't matter because we will blur it anyway So symmetry is a little bit off. Let me paint this eye. Like that. Um, add filter again, blur. Blur it like that a little bit. Another fill layer. Again, dark brown, black mask, and now let's paint these things. Like that. Mm, add filter blur. Let's add these cute eye bags and change the opacity. Like that. Again, fill layer. Let me show you how to paint a wing eyeliner. So, there is a different ways how to do the eyeliner. I'll show you two ways. Let's start with the first one. We need to draw this kind of triangle like this um, and fill it. Like that. And we can erase a little bit around the rough edges. And let's erase these things. So here it is. Let's paint eyeshadow a little bit more towards it. Like that.
So this is the first way. Let me show you the second way. This will be the classic eyeliner. Um, we need to follow this line. Like that. And make triangle again. So here is the second eyeliner. Let's check the difference. Here is the first one and the second one. Let's proceed with this one. Let's create new fill layer. Dark brown. Black mask. And let's paint this fold a little bit more, like that. Add filter, blur. Let's duplicate it, like that. Another fill layer, duplicate it, filter blur and let's paint it around the whole eye, like that. Let's blur it. Uh, let's put the highlight layer to the top. Create another one. And this will be pink. And let's paint this little triangle here. Let's change the color a little bit. Create new layer, and now this will be something like peach skin color. And black mask, and let's add uh, some highlight here. Like this. And place it under the eyeliner. Like that. And filter, blur. Let's blur it a little bit. Change the color to more bright. <laughs> uh, 
Let's play, place it together to the top. Like that. Let's create another fill layer, choose black color, add black mask, let's paint all around the eyes this pink. I forgot symmetry. It's okay, let's paint it here as well. It's okay that it is messy because we will blur it. I think we finished eyes for now, let's proceed with the lips. Uh, create fill layer. Let's choose something neutral like that. Add black mask. And paint it again. You can do it very roughly because we will blur it anyway. And we will change the color as well. Like that. Add filter, blur. Like that. And let's change the color. Mm -hmm. Like this. Let's create another fill layer and choose really red color. Black mask and Paint it only in the center, like this. Add filter, blur. Like this. Now let's do the blush. Let's create new layer. Let's choose pink color. I will change it later. Mm. Let me show again you two ways how to do it. The first one is just here. We don't do this. Don't do it again. <laughs> okay, let's do it here. Like that. Not again, filter. Ah, oh, yeah, and place it under the eye makeup. Mm 
I'm change the opacity like this and paint the nose as well and chin a little bit like that this is the first way how to do a blush I will show you the second one everything is the same but you need to place blush like here this is a trendy one you can see it often in anime let's blur it again like this this is the second way how to do a blush which one do you like the most? it's up to you so now let's do the roughness 0 0.5 should be enough for the skin but for the lips I prefer to use 0 0.1 and 5 like this we can also paint these corners a little bit of nose tip and cheeks and again blur it oops yep like this well let's test our makeup in marmoset and that's the end result. That's it how it looks in Marmazet. Let's test it with hair. I like it. What do you think guys? Write in the comments. And thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my Instagram ArtStation. And I have other social media. So that's it for today. Goodbye.